In 2025, the 800 volt architecture is set to become the standard for all generations of electric vehicles. And Tesla has adopted this voltage range in the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck. Compared to the traditional 400 volt range, the high-end architecture will offer certain advantages in terms of charging time, efficiency, and range. However, Elon Musk also acknowledged the limitations of this architecture, even though the price of the Tesla Semi has exceeded $200,000, surpassing the leaked figure of $180,000. It still provides a remarkable 43% cost savings compared to diesel trucks. So, why is the Tesla Semi a strategic move by Elon Musk to transform the transportation industry? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. According to information provided by Tesla on its official website, the manufacturer states that the operating costs are more than 2.5 times cheaper per mile, resulting in savings of $200,000 in the first three years. This implies that drivers save up to $5,000 per month, which is impressive. Why is the Tesla Semi still a profit for drivers even when the price fluctuates? At this point, Tesla still refrains from disclosing even a slight hint about both versions of the Tesla Semi, the 300-mile and 500-mile variants, raising the most questions among customers. It certainly no longer sits at the rumored prices of 150 grand and 180 grand from the early days of its unveiling. The actual cost is kept confidential, possibly under the terms of the contract between the manufacturer and its partners and even PepsiCo does not provide any details. Recently, rumors about the price of the Tesla Semi have peaked at $250,000, an astonishing figure, but somehow understandable. This electric truck is notably challenging to manufacture compared to other Tesla models. Have you heard about the Giga Press for the Tesla Semi? Probably not, as this technology has currently reached its highest capacity with 9,000 tons for the Cybertruck. The Tesla Semi, being much larger, could be mistaken for a high-speed train if it were a bit longer. <laughs> Just kidding. The production is indeed far from simple, as even Elon Musk's additional investment of $3.6 billion cannot expedite the mass production of these electric trucks at the Giga Nevada facility. A significant part of the cost increase is attributed to the impact of megachargers. Some information indicates that building a charging station exclusively for the Tesla Semi costs around $6 million. But based on our findings, despite all challenges, the Tesla Semi remains a cost-effective option for drivers compared to diesel trucks. In the first three years of operation, you're looking at nearly $200,000 in fuel savings. We stumbled upon an interesting comment while watching Jay Leno's video on the Tesla Semi experience. In that comment, the writer shared that he owns a 2017 ProStar and described it as a diesel truck that is fuel-hungry. So fun! The reality is that the cost of the Tesla Semi is significantly higher than that of diesel trucks, such as the 2022 Peterbilt 579, priced at around $160,000, or the Kenworth T680, with a starting price of $150,000. We have calculated based on the assumption that the Tesla Semi is priced at $250,000. According to rumors, and even if it remains at $180,000, the price difference is not too substantial. However, let's overlook the purchase price as it's just an initial incurred cost, and more importantly, it's about the ongoing savings for the truck fleet. Let's perform a calculation on the savings that the Tesla Semi offers compared to diesel trucks, and to be fair, we'll use an example of two trucks with the same route and same payload. Currently, the average price of diesel in the US is $4.20 a gallon. Suppose you want to transport a load with a truck covering a range of 200 miles. The average diesel truck would consume approximately 34 gallons for this journey. From this, we calculate that a diesel truck would consume nearly 5.9 miles per gallon. According to the figures, we find that the driver of a diesel truck would have to pay $142 for this route. Turning to the Tesla Semi, this truck, as publicly stated by Elon Musk, consumes less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile, falling around 1.7 kilowatt hours. But we will consider it at a disadvantage when taking the figure as displayed on the manufacturer's website. With an average range of 200 miles like the diesel truck, the Tesla Semi would consume a total of 400 kilowatt hours. 
and the electricity cost in November in the state of California is approximately 20 cents or 20 cents per kilowatt hour. Calculating 400 kilowatt hours multiplied by 20 cents, we get the amount that the Tesla driver would have to pay, which is around $80 for a similar route to the diesel truck. Considering fuel costs alone, the savings are over 43%. Next, let's examine regular maintenance costs such as oil changes, emission control equipment, brakes, and downtime. Additionally, consider the environmental and societal impact of transporting goods with zero emissions and lower noise pollution. Delve into the improved quality of life for drivers with a Tesla Semi, which has been highly praised for revolutionizing the transportation industry. Despite remaining uncertainties about this electric truck, let's explore the high-voltage architecture in the Semi and Cybertruck, a design believed to become the standard for all electric vehicles by 2025. How well do big rig and cyber trucks operate in high voltage architectures? We're running at you know, the 800,000 volt range. Wow. Versus our 400 volt range in most of our cars today. But Cybertruck will also go to that higher voltage range. Back in 2022, during the first quarter financial results event, Tesla executives were questioned about why the company did not adopt the 800 volt architecture for its vehicles, while Elon's competitors, such as Porsche and Lucid Motors, had reached the premium threshold of 900 volts. Tesla's senior vice president clarified that the 800-volt structure has several significant advantages, but is primarily designed for larger vehicles. Baglino pointed out that this architecture makes sense for electric vehicles that require higher charging power or more torque. Therefore, Tesla Cybertruck and Tesla Semi are the top choices. In early November, we all learned that Tesla Semi and Cybertruck are categorized under the same type in the vehicle's VIN decoding, and these two vehicles also interact quite well. When Tesla Semi was assigned the task of transporting an off-road vehicle to test locations, people discussed whether this was part of Tesla's marketing strategy. So, so the, the, the current requirements go up. There's a little bit more semiconductor and, and um, actual like, you know, conductor savings of going to the higher voltage. Um, and, and so we, we do consider that for Semi and Cybertruck. Returning to the 800-volt high-voltage system of the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck, the reality is that in case of the larger, higher-power vehicles, when charging is needed or when transmitting energy from the battery to electronic devices or when demanding higher torque, the power requirements increase. Tesla's shift to using higher voltage can help save on materials such as semiconductors and wiring to some extent. The 800 volts in the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck will undoubtedly be a higher voltage system compared to the 400 volt system currently used in most electric vehicle models like the Model Y and Model 3. Thanks to this higher voltage range, the 800 volt system provides significant advantages for the vehicles to generate more power, reduce charging time, and increase overall drivetrain efficiency. Why is a high voltage architecture the foundation for faster acceleration? Electric vehicle motors are typically designed to operate at a specific voltage. If a vehicle is supplied with a higher voltage, the motor can be optimized for a higher performance, providing a more powerful driving experience. This is particularly crucial in situations such as overtaking or driving on highways. Implementing this architecture for two electric trucks can significantly impact acceleration, even if it may not be perceived as crucial or necessary by some drivers. In the case of the Tesla Semi, it was leaked that it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds, and the Cybertruck Tri-Motor is expected to achieve this in about 3 seconds. We know that power is directly proportional to voltage and current, and when voltage doubles, power will also double. In the case of electric vehicles, the electric motor is powered by a battery. The electrical energy from the battery is transmitted to the electric motor through a voltage converter. The voltage converter is responsible for transforming the voltage from the battery into a voltage suitable for the electric motor. For electric vehicles using the 800 volt high voltage system, the voltage converter can use lower current to transmit the same amount of energy to this electric motor compared to electric vehicles using a lower voltage system. This is because the higher voltage allows the transmission of the same amount of energy in a shorter period. For example, to transmit 100 kilowatts of energy to the motor, the 800 voltage converter can use a current of 12.5A. Meanwhile, the 400 voltage converter would need to use a current of 25A to transmit the same amount of energy. As mentioned earlier, this architecture also allows the use of smaller conductors. This helps reduce the overall weight of the electric vehicle and improves aerodynamic efficiency, serving the rapid acceleration process. 
While this might not be crucial for the Tesla Semi, it's worth considering for off-road vehicles like Cybertruck. So, how does the 800-volt architecture affect charging capabilities? The 800-volt system can handle charging power up to 350 kilowatts, whereas the 400-volt system can only provide a maximum charging power of 250 kilowatts. This means that an electric vehicle running on the 800-volt system can charge almost fully in about 20 minutes, while an electric vehicle running on the 400-volt system may take around 40 minutes. This aligns with what Elon Musk publicly stated on the company's official website when he mentioned that the Tesla Semi takes about 30 minutes to go from 0 to 70% with a 900 kilowatt hour battery pack. For the Cybertruck, this 800 volt electric architectural upgrade will significantly speed up charging, allowing the Cybertruck to charge from 10% to 80% in just 20 minutes. The pickup truck can also maintain a higher charging speed throughout the charging session due to the 800 volt battery structure. The 800 volt system brings a significant advantage in fast charging speed as it can handle high output power from super fast charging stations. For instance, Tesla Supercharger V4 has a power rating of 350 kilowatts achieved by boosting the current level and voltage. The 800 volt system can also contribute to extending the operational range of electric vehicles. When more energy is supplied to the vehicle, it can travel longer distances before needing a recharge. This is why the Tesla Semi stands out compared to other electric trucks on the market, having won the Runner Less program with a record-breaking distance of 1,076 miles in a day. Additionally, we look forward to the official range of the Cybertruck later this month, and we hope it'll achieve between 400 to 430 miles. According to Baglino's insights, he observes more advantages than disadvantages for vehicles that require higher charging power or more torque. The 800-volt system allows for a reduction in weight in the space required for cable systems, as this architecture minimizes the use of copper materials throughout the entire vehicle, contributing to the weight reduction of trucks. The Tesla Semi has an estimated average original weight of 26,000 pounds based on our previous estimates, and the Cybertruck falls within the range of 6,500 to 7,000 pounds as recently revealed by Elon Musk. As far as we know, in the case of the Semi, the electric truck has even exceeded the 800 volt range to reach 1,000 volts. The Class 8 truck is the company's first model with a four-digit operating voltage. We'll dive deeper into this in the next segment with more detailed information. Ultimately, the 800 volt system in both the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck delivers clear efficiency benefits. This architecture harmonizes everything by generating lower currents, helping to reduce heat, which is always advantageous when it comes to electric vehicle batteries, as the battery cooling system can consume electric power. Generating a lower current also means that charging cables can be thinner and less cumbersome. Additionally, some electrical components within the vehicle can be thinner and smaller, contributing to a lighter and more efficient vehicle. So, what challenges does an 800-volt architecture create? Although Baglino has highlighted the numerous advantages of this architecture, it doesn't mean that there are no drawbacks. Elon Musk also commented on the issue after Baglino's remarks, saying that even if Tesla could save $100 per vehicle by switching from 400 to 800 volts, this decision would come at a huge cost elsewhere. The entire supercharger network, which now has more than 33,000 charging points, would also have to be converted to 800 volts. At present, we only have the Tesla Semi day cab and the sleeper version is expected to be introduced soon, causing a stir in the transportation market in the near future. Tesla initially launched the Semi with a three-motor drivetrain. The option for a fourth-motor drivetrain may appear later. Reports suggest that the Semi's battery, located beneath the cabin floor, has the capacity to store energy up to 1,000 kilowatt hours, enough to power 10 Tesla Model X vehicles. Tesla typically does not disclose the electric vehicle's battery capacity, and the same is the case with the Semi. Tesla has not disclosed power or torque figures. However, we know that electric vehicles generate a significant amount of torque, so we expect the Semi's drivetrain to produce a four-digit torque figure. In an episode of Jay Leno's Garage, Priestley mentioned that the Semi's drivetrain has a system power of around 1,500 horsepower, but Tesla limits the power transmitted to the wheels to enhance operational range. Additionally, Priestley pointed out that reducing some of that high-end power would improve the longevity of the semi's tires. 
As the Tesla Semi undergoes real-world testing and captures the attention of key players in the logistics industry, it signifies the dawn of a new era for freight transportation, one marked by sustainability, efficiency, and technological innovation. While challenges undoubtedly persist, the Tesla Semi transcends being merely a truck. It symbolizes progress and heralds change in an industry ripe for revolution. With its amalgamation of eco-friendly design, extended range, remarkable performance, and autonomous capabilities, the Tesla Semi is set to reshape the freight transport landscape, guiding us toward a future where roads are not just pathways, but conduits for sustainable innovation. So, how do you feel about the future of the Tesla Semi and the U.S. trucking industry? And do you think that this big rig is a game changer to get commercial companies to abandon diesel trucks? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe, have fun and God bless.